Excuse me, Chancellor. Marsa Meda tries to sway Finnis Valerum over the course of its existence. The Trade Federation had grown to be a significant economic and political force in the Republic, with unprecedented representation in the Senate and near complete control of shipping and commerce in the Outer Rim territories. In 32 BBY, and to the Federation's chagrin, the Senate passed Prop 31 to 814d, which authorized the Republic to levy taxes on trade in the free trade zones, which had previously been dominated by the Nemoidians' tariffs with little government regulation. In protest, the Trade Federation established an illegal blockade around the mid rim planet of Naboo, cutting off all shipping to the planet. The egregious overstep threw the Senate into crisis, spurring endless debate and further damaging the Valorum administration's political viability. Emeda was notably unhelpful to the Supreme Chancellor at this time and leveraged his bureaucratic power to slow efforts to provide relief to Naboo. The Federation ultimately invaded the world and tried to force its monarch, Queen Padme Amidala, to legalize the action by signing a treaty with the conglomerate. Instead, Amidala fled with the aid of Jedi negotiators to seek Republic intervention in an appearance before the Senate. As Vice Chair, Ameda presided over a special session of Congress in the Senate Building's Convocation Chamber alongside Supreme Chancellor Valerum and his administrative aide, Say Taria. Queen Amidala's appearance before the Senate had been arranged by Naboo's Senator Shiv Palpatine, a rising star with whom Ameda worked to sabotage Valerum's credibility. Together, Palpatine and Amidala presented an impassioned plea for relief from the Trade Federation's predations, but were interrupted and accused of slander by the Federation's representative, Lot Dodd, who called for a commission to be formed to verify the Naboo's claims. Just before Valerum could reject their objection, the Chancellor was interrupted by Ameda, who advised him to sustain the objection. Valerum did as Ameda had told him to, asking that Amidala defer her motion to allow for a commission to be established. On Palpatine's advice, Amidala declined and responded to the Chancellor's apparent indecisiveness by calling for a vote of no confidence in Valerum's leadership, a motion that proved overwhelmingly popular when the chamber broke out into calls to vote immediately, drowning out Ameda's calls for order. The motion from the Naboo delegation was successful and Valerum was removed from office. While an election for a new Supreme Chancellor pitted Palpatine against Ainley team of Malastare and Bail Antilles of Alderaan, Ameda served as steward of the Senate. When Palpatine rode a wave of public sympathy for Naboo's plight into an electoral victory, he kept Ameda as vice chair of the Senate, making him an integral part of the new Supreme Chancellor's administration. With Ameda swearing his loyalties to Palpatine in order to politically survive, Palpatine eventually confided in Ameda that his political persona was merely an alter ego. In truth, he was Darth Sidious, a dark lord of the Sith and longtime enemy of the Jedi Order. Although the Jedi had long been the protectors of the Republic, Ameda shared the Sith's vision for a strong central government, so he became an active participant in Sidious's grand scheme to supplant the ancient democracy with a new order. Sidious only gave the vice chair a general idea of his plans, not wanting to burden the speaker with details he did not need to know.